Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number three in the Access Control Vulnerabilities module titled User Role Controlled by Request Parameter. All right, let's get started. This lab has an admin panel at slash admin, which identifies administrators using a forgeable cookie. Solve the lab by accessing the admin panel and using it to delete the user Carlos. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. Okay, so the target goal over here is to access the admin panel and use it to delete the user Carlos. And the way we're going to do that is by exploiting a broken access control vulnerability where access control is determined based on a cookie that we could alter. And um, hopefully we're going to alter that cookie in order to access the admin panel and then delete the Carlos user. And in order to understand how the application functions, we're given these credentials in order to log in as a regular user. And then once we're logged in as a regular user, we'll be able to see how this cookie is set and and then potentially be able to change it. All right, let's access the lab. And while that loads up, let's open up Burp. So this browser over here is the inbuilt browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already going through Burp, and I don't have to alter the configuration of the browser or alter it in my proxy proxy extension in order to make sure that the requests go through Burp. All right, the first thing we're going to do is go to my account and then log in with the credentials that we were given. Hit login. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark these requests or highlight them because they're gonna be useful later when we script the exploit. So this is the request that was used in order to log in as the user that we were given. So I'm gonna click on highlight and I'll highlight it as green. Notice over here that you get set two cookies. The first one is an admin cookie and the second one is a session cookie. So the session cookie is normal. What that means is it's assigning you a session so that it's able to identify you in subsequent requests. However, the admin cookie is a little bit abnormal. It says it's false, which means that you're not an admin. However, what happens if we set it to true? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the my account um, request and we're going to send this to repeater. So if we hit send right over here and we see if we have access to something called an admin panel and let's make that lowercase, you could see over here we have zero matches. Now let's set this to true and see if that gives us any additional access. And here we go. It says there's two matches. So if you go over here, it says you're given access to the admin panel because this cookie over here is used to, is used to determine access control rules in the back end. Now, to see this in the browser, what we're going to do is we're going to hit on Inspect, go to Application, and then in Cookies right over here, we're going to set this to True. Hit Enter. Let's close this and just click on My Account again. And here we go. We could see the Admin Panel right over here. Now, if we go back to Proxy over here, I'm just going to highlight this one as well because it's going to come in handy. And we're going to delete the Carlos user by clicking on Delete. And let's highlight this one right over here again. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. So we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the broken access control vulnerability manually. Now let's script it. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.